Oh my god, I freaking hate you right now. Oh 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 Welcome back Go City Elimination fans, to the aftermath, where we give the eliminated contestants the love and attention they deserve. By interview- Yes, by interviewing them. Just please, stop pointing it out to me. Um, anyway, this episode is a very special episode of the aftermath. Because tomorrow, May 12th, is the first anniversary of Go City Elimination. Happy birthday! We've also contacted Adam asking him if he could make a challenge celebrating the occasion, and he agreed. So that's also really exciting. We're also going to eat this birthday cake. I can just tell it's going to be delicious. Anyway, let's see who we're interviewing today. Gabby, Kanan Irvine, and Steffi B. And here they come right now. Oh, Gabby. You got eliminated? Yeah. I'm sorry Canadian. Nah, it's fine. We got far last season, so I don't care that much if we don't get far in this season. Steffi B, Kian and Irvine, you two got eliminated this early? Unfortunately, yes. I guess our situation was kinda like yours, huh? Ha, huh, you're right. Alright, let's get to the questions, starting with Gabby. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, first question. Jacqueline Freeman asks, Gabby, what did you do while Canadian Scout was eliminated? Well, I kinda sulked for a bit, but Spivey cheered me up, and we're pretty good friends now. Oh, wow Steffi B, I never knew you would become friends with Gabby. Yeah, that's really good Gabby. Cam and Beyond asks, Gabby, how does it feel to get eliminated right after Canadian Scout? Well, I was kinda sad, and kinda happy, because I lost my second chance at getting a million dollars, but, I did get to see Canadian again, so that's good. Samuel Yandel asks, this question is to Gabby. How did you feel when you got so many votes unexpectedly? I don't know, I was kinda surprised and suspicious, because my team members said they didn't vote for me, but I am pretty sure it was Boris that rigged the votes, that jerk. Cinnamon Gazer asks, Gabby, there was something suspicious about your elimination. Do you know who it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll find out who it is soon enough. Actually, you'll find out right now, because there's something extra to this question. I'll give you a hint, she's from Team Future, and her name starts with a V. Vina? Yeah, Vina is kinda like, evil now. Oh my god, are you serious? I don't know, I think Boris is still king the worse. What? Vina is much worse. But Brent, Boris eliminated both of us, remember? But Vina is much- You know what? Let's just move on to the stupid bloopers. Fine. Wow. This orange soda is so good. I don't know, I think I like strawberry soda better. I cannot believe this. You know what? I'm going to make him like that orange soda. No, no. Oh, 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 Oh my freaking god you two are arrested arrested arrested. Here is your cell with no bed, no toilet, and no sink. Stop. You have violated the law. Luke, that wasn't a blooper, that was just something to make me look bad, and it didn't even work, 
because we both got arrested in that video. Yeah Luke, that video was fake. The ending was just taken from a not smirks video. Yeah, you're right Canadian Scout. I'm sorry Brent, I was just really angry. Are we still friends? Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's move on to Kian and Irvin's questions. Um, okay. But first, I want to say something I've been meaning to say for a while now. Guys, my name is spelled like this, not this. Got it? Okay. Ivan Toro asks, Kian and Irvine, how do you feel now that you and Steffi B are back together again in this episode? Well, of course, I'm really happy. Cam and Beyond asks, Kian and Irvine, do you still have an alliance with Steffi B and Nikki Animations? No, the alliance was broken up when season 1 ended, and we couldn't reform the alliance because we were on different teams. Robert Evans asks, Kian and Irvine, I really like TDI, so do you watch Total Drama? Well, I've never watched it, but what from I have heard, it's basically the inspiration of this show. But, I might watch it though. Blakey Gamer one Mots Plush asks, for Kian and Irvine, who do you think is the worst one on the show? Boris, or Vina? Well, normally I would say it was Boris, but since Vina eliminated Gabby by rigging the votes, and probably did that to other people too, I would have to say it's Vina. Alright, that's all the questions for Kian and Irvine. Now, let's move on to Steffi B's questions. Only four questions. Seriously. We should have given him more. Luke, it's not my fault. Those were all of the questions for Kian and Irvine, okay? No they weren't. Those were just the questions that you picked out. Blah 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 arguing 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 blah 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 Both of you. Stop arguing about stupid crap. It's really annoying, and it's just a waste of time. Just please, move on to the stupid questions. Um, uh, okay Caillou, we're sorry, um, alright. Let's just move on to Steffi B's questions. Sai Chan asks, Steffi B, how would you react if Vina won? Well, since she eliminated my friend Gabby, I would be kinda mad if she wins. Cinnamon Gazer asks, are you feeling better? You know, after Kian and Irvin's elimination, and after you quit? Well, of course I'm feeling better, because me and Sai and Irvine got reunited. Good thing we weren't separated for that long. Captain Argonaut 24 asks, Steffi B, how did it feel when your friends got eliminated? And how did it feel to get eliminated so soon this time? It was pretty sad. Sina and Irvine and Gabby being eliminated was kinda scary. And yet, getting into a great placement a previous season, to getting a horrible placement, in the current season is not very fun. Aaron 767 New asks, Steffi B, was it hard pretending everything was okay? Yeah, it really, really was. Jakari Williams asks, do you think there will be a rejoin? Uh, probably not. There wasn't a rejoin in season 1, so there probably isn't going to be a rejoin in this season. Blakey Gamer one Mots Plush asks, for Steffi B, do you have a crush on someone? Honestly, no. I think it's much smarter to focus on the game and strategies, not some relationship. Sorry Caillou. It's okay Steffi B, I don't really care if you say that. Cam and Beyond asks Steffi B, you haven't uploaded since October 30th 2018, why is that? Oh, I've just been busy, being on this show and stuff. Um, Steffi B, this show is fictional, you're not actually in it in real life. Oh. Um, wait, how do you know that? I'm a psychic, and have telekinesis, and you're surprised that I can break the fourth wall? Well, that's all the questions, so he better end the episode. Alrighty. Seriously. Are you serious? No, 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 what the? Adam. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just watching this juicy drama from afar, and I think it'll spike up my ratings, so... Guess what? You guys are back in the game. Wait, what? But Adam, who's going to be the new hosts? Oh, um, eeny mini manny mo, who's going to be the new Aftermath host yo? It's Canadian Scout and Gabby. Wait what? Are you serious? Ugh, of course. I was kinda expecting you to pick me. But Adam, we don't know how to do this. Here, how about you practice with the outro? There you go. Now, say your lines. Well, um, 
Thanks for tuning into the aftermath. Um, don't forget to watch the next, um, thrilling episode of Ghost City Elimination Time Travelers. Uh, this is your host, Canadian Scout. And your co-host, Gabby. Signing, signing off. off. You know, let's just be friends again. We don't want to give Adam what he wants. Yeah, agreed. A show can't ruin our friendship, right?